Hi guys, so I wanted to make a very quick video on showing you guys how I use uh, Sketch VR to uh, show my clients uh, their designs or their the designs I've made for them, in other words. So starting off, you want to start off Sketch VR in your headset. So that's the window we have uh, over the area here. And uh, I'm just casting uh, to my screen so you can actually see the recording there at the same time. Start off, you want to go to the uh, uh, Oculus Quest VR Quest and send that to the headset and make sure that the number is matching with the number that you have on your window there. It should connect it. And it will start loading your geometry. And to start off, the geometry will like be here in the end here. And giving this to your clients and you're sitting in the middle of it and you can't really tell what you're doing and trying to tell them how to navigate in this area can be quite uh, challenging. Uh, when I'm working in teams, like I usually give my headset to the sonographer or the director and I teach them like this, but sometimes you want to show the producers, you want to show the, fun, uh, the, the funders and stuff like that. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just give them the headset. Then you can see in the the window here um, a little avatar that shows uh, where I am compared to this building. But also, when you have this marked, you see this little picture here. It's, this is the VR sketch tool. And if you use that, you can actually place the viewer where you want them to view. So for this sake, for example, I can place them on top of this balcony. And then, if I turn around, you can see that I'm placed on top of the balcony and can watch down. Now, the one thing that I really am missing in uh, where Sketch we are, which uh, you developers can uh, take note of, is uh, turning. Uh, I can't really turn uh, around, so if they're sitting down and they don't have the ability to turn around, you actually have to use the Quest controllers. Just have one Quest controller in your hand, and you can uh, use uh, the analog stick and just point it left or right until they're facing the right way. There you go. So then, if they just have it on uh, in their head, they can't really uh, uh, do anything wrong here. They can just watch around and move around in the room of the space you've given them. And if you want them to have a new point of view, then we simply move them. Like, for example, if I want them to have center stage, I can just click on center stage with the VR sketch tool, and then they're on the center stage. If I want them to see the view from the first row or the first, uh, uh, you can place them down there, and then they have a view from down there, or maybe just like back here. That's a view from back there. If you want to see how bad it will be if you get up into the side balcony, that they can take a look here and see what they're seeing. So uh, this is a really nice way of just having your clients give them the headset. And then before they actually put on the headset, just place it in the area you want them to see. Uh, and then you have more control over what they're actually watching. The only thing that you don't have control over, as, as I said, uh, without using the Quest controllers, is uh, their orientation. So just have one Quest controller close to your computer and uh, take a peek at the, the casting window there or look at the orientation of the little character here. You can actually zoom in here and you can see which way he's going. And if I use this controller, I can actually turn him around and you can see which way he is pointing. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can uh, use VR Sketch with your uh, clients uh, using uh, a Quest headset and uh, SketchUp to give them a good tour of your, uh, your design. Another thing is just like placing them inside here to get the view of where the actors might stand. And again, turn them around. And then they have a feeling of like, how tall is this compared to where I am? Oops, sorry, just dropped my controller. And stuff like that. 
So that was a quick tutorial. Well, probably not that quick. I should probably edit this down, but I don't have the time. So I'm just going to post this as it is. And I hope you got something from it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll talk to you next time.